Well, uh, as the captains developed, one was an obvious choice uh, from last year, committed training in the off season, pulling other people into to training, helping the girls team train, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we'll call him Eric emerged as our second captain. There was uh, some clear tension between. Uh, wait, it looks like it's going to be Eric and Hank as our two captains, but they don't like each other. Uh, but when we got to the VIA work with them and shared those results and sang their praises about their strengths in front of one another and the whole coaching staff, uh, it helped them unify uh, their message. And yep, Eric's sense of humor uh, is his lead. It doesn't mean he's not just as committed to the team, to the much more serious Hank approach um, back and forth, but that some of the team is going to need uh, those lighter moments, those encouraging moments, and some are going to need the drive uh, that that Hank brought uh, with his work. Um, so it really unified the two as a leadership team. Uh, and out of those strengths, we were able to watch both of them find their their niche in reaching the team, and both had tremendous leadership moments that uh, I don't know that would have been possible if they hadn't recognized that they were leaders uh, and what what their strengths were. In soccer, scoring an own goal is one of the most devastating things that can happen to a team. And uh, Hank was able to respond with uh, providing dignity and honor to his teammates as those moments happened. Uh, just powerful, powerful places where uh, the team needed leadership and Eric and Hank were able to step up and, and provide that for, for their teammates. I think often when people have friction and, and at the surface level don't like each other, it's often because they don't appreciate each other's superpower. And you know, locker rooms and in in and benches win championships and you know, each one had a totally different skill set to bring to the team. But in moments Humor can be something that brings a team up. Discipline can bring a team up, and uh, you know I I find always in leadership, differences can be the strength or the division. And once they knew each other, you saw two young men really start to appreciate each other's superpowers, really start to lean each other. And and, you know, and I'm always watching. You start seeing them actually standing next to each other sometimes when they were warming up. So, you know they spent time close to each other which the year before had not and, and had not wanted to be in each other's vicinities and that and you know when they solidified that's just part of solidifying the whole team and good things start to happen so I think you know the VIA as we've seen in leadership around the world how it makes people with different superpowers come together man it was really evident on the field because again they needed to be the best at the worst time and um, coach Aaron is talking about that own goal immediately I mean within seconds there was such a great response from, from Hank. It was just a, a tremendous, tremendous response. And the whole team, because that put them to behind, that was a big game, it was lots of things, and the team responded with three great goals after that. And so we teased a little bit afterwards. They scored four goals. They scored all the goals in the game. <laughs> One for the other team and three for them. But if the team would have been not so together, that could have been, the, that game could have got out of hand. And the other way was like, no. We're, we're in it together and, and we'll win together, and they did.